Surely the point of Draugrs is that they are dead. So why do they start randomly attacking people? Why would the dead not be dead? It makes my head hurt. I don't understand why in these tombs all the torches are lit. I thought they were supposed to be abandoned for centuries. I guess it's one of life's mysteries.
Suppose the Draugr are angry because we disturb their sleep? I know how they feel. I would. Also be pretty angry. You did it. You killed it. Now cut me down before anything else shows up. Yes, the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door, and the hall of stories. I know how they all fit together. Help me down and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. Does it look like I can move? You have to cut me down first. It's coming loose. I can feel it. Why should I share the treasure with anyone?
I would be pretty annoyed too if I looked like the dragon. I hope I don't die and end up looking like one of them. That would be... A worst nightmare. Thinking is so much fun. The thrill of almost getting caught is more addictive than skooma. All right, yeah, now is not the time for talking. Yes, I'm listening. I could get used to this. What's the polite way of saying thanks, but this gift is absolute cow dung?
Ulfred, patron of the great clan Battleborn. A name I'm sure you know well. You see? The terminology is clearly First Era or even earlier. I'm convinced this is a copy of a much older text. Perhaps dating to just after the Dragon War. If so, I could use this to cross-reference the names with other later texts. Good. I'm glad you're making progress. My employers are anxious to have some tangible answers. Oh, have no fear. The Jarl himself has finally taken an interest. So I'm now able to devote most of my time to this- Time is running, Farngar, don't forget. This isn't some theoretical question. Dragons have come back. Yes, yes, don't worry. Although the chance to see a living dragon up close would be tremendously valuable. Now, you have a let visitor. me show you something else I found. Very intriguing. I think your employers may be interested as well. Hmm? Ah, yes, the Jarl's protege. Back from Bleak Falls Barrow. <laughs> you didn't die, it seems. Ah, the dragon stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. Seems you are a cut above the usual brutes the Jarl sends my way. That is where your job ends and mine begins. The work of the mind, sadly undervalued in Skyrim. My associate here will be pleased to see your handiwork. She discovered its location by means she has so far declined to share with me. So your information was correct after all. And we have our friend here to thank for recovering it for us. You went into Bleak Falls Barrow and got that? Nice work. Just send me a copy when you've deciphered it. Farangar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. You should come too. A dragon? How exciting. Where was it seen? What was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I don't know if we can stop it. Let's go. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Earless, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. Accept this gift from my personal armory. I should come along. I would very much like to see this dragon. No. I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. One last thing, Irileth. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of caution. <coughs> I envy you the chance to see this dragon up close. Bad if a guy found out his wife was dragonborn, he wouldn't be best pleased. Men already constantly complain about being shouted at by their wives. I mean, can you imagine a dragonborn woman shouting at her husband? <laughs> that would really give him something to complain about. Did I just hear correctly? The Jarl wants you to go and fight a dragon. Please tell me you're not actually considering it. Not that I'm scared, of course. What's the matter? You can't stand the sight of a strong lord woman? Need something? A dragon. 
dragon is attacking the Western Watchtower. A Boy, dragon? Now we're in for it. You heard right. I said a dragon. I don't much care where it came from or who sent it. What I do know is that it's made the mistake of attacking Whiterun. But Housecarl, how could we fight a dragon? That's a fair question. None of us have ever seen a dragon before, or expected to face one in battle. But we are honor-bound to fight it, even if we fail. This dragon is threatening our homes, our families. Could you call yourselves Nords if you ran from this monster? Are you going to let me face this thing alone? No, no, so how dead. Far. But it's more than our honor at stake here. Think of it. The first dragon seen in Skyrim since the last age. of killing it is ours, if you're with me. Now, what do you say? Shall we go kill us a dragon? Yeah. Damn yeah. right. Let's move out. signs of any dragon right now, but it sure looks like he's been here. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened, and if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere. So Spread you're out. the strong Look silent the eyes, huh? We need to know what I bet he must is. love me talking to you all the time. Then again, who could resist spending time with me? back. It's still here somewhere. Proki and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. never met me, otherwise you would be cowering right now.
just die already. Picking someone your own size or bigger. And Is it a buggy? Dead? No. I can't believe it. You actually I killed the dragon. Can you absorb the dragonborn? Soul? This day just keeps getting better. In the very just oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, dragon. the dragonborn would slay dragons it. and steal their power. <laughs> That's what you joking. did, isn't it? You absorb the dragon's me. power. Well, you can shout now. You couldn't before, right? That can only mean one thing. You must be Dragonborn. Dragonborn? What are you talking about? That's right. My grandfather Wait, used to tell stories about Dragonborn. Wait, are you really Dragonborn? Dragonborn? So I guess that really Those does make you kind of special. I guess like you almost Tiber live up to my high standards now. I've never heard of Tiber Septim killing any Good dragons. Looking, strong, brave. There weren't any dragons then. So tell idiot. me what sort of They're women are you into? Now for the first time in <laughs> Not that I'm interested in you or anything. But the old tales tell of the dragonborn who could kill dragons and steal their power. You must be one. What do you say, Yerleth? You're being awfully quiet. Come on, Yerleth. Tell us. Do you believe in this dragonborn business? <laughs> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. Here's a dead dragon, and that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them. But I don't need some mythical dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't understand, Housecar. You ain't a norm. I've been all across Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. That was shouting what you just did. Must be. You really are Dragonborn then.
Between the war and the return of the dragons, I wonder if we should not use... You're finally here. The Jarl's been waiting for you. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. We were just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? I knew I could count on Irileth. But there must be more to it than that. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the Voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thum. Or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Admora. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our I have to stop, though. When he got chased Capable out of town by be. the shop owner? I don't see any signs of him being this... What? Dragonborn? Nor nonsense. Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Prongar, don't be so hard on Avenici. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that... What do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards' business. Not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know? to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place, very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. <sighs> no matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. So you're Thane now, huh? Well, don't think some fancy title is going to make me your servant. Although I must admit I'm happy for you. Perhaps I could take advantage of you sometime. Uh, I mean, if we got into trouble, I could use your status to my advantage. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the Hold. A hero. The title of Thane is an honor. A gift for your service. 
Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. Lead the way. What's the deal with that house call the Yarl just gave you? She doesn't look much to me. I could outmatch her in terms of combat, looks, and just about anything, really. I don't know what you could possibly see in her. I'm not sure Don't. I like the sound of the 7,000 steps. Surely that must absolutely kill your legs? I also better check I'm wearing underwear. Cause I've heard that it can get a little chilly around the southern parts if you know what I mean. I don't need your help to do that before you ask. Shiny trinkets for your always true. I'd even buy one of your relatives if you're looking to sell. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's a little joke. I need trinkets. Rather pale. Could be ataxia. It's quite a problem back home in Cyrodiil. Ah, splendid, splendid. It's for a special brew I'm working on. A love elixir like none other. Maybe I'll test it on Faringar first. Oh, but I suppose you expect some compensation. Um, here. These potions should suffice. Come back any time if you need a remedy. We're looking for someone in White Run. We will pay good money for information. A woman, a foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in White Run. So we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. It's none of your concern. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. If that doesn't interest you, Feel free to walk away. If you locate her, find us in Rorikstead. Yeah?
Grey Mane or Battleborn. Got stones in your ears? I asked what side you're on. Grey Mane or Battleborn. New in town, huh? White Run's got two clans, both old and both respected. Difference is, the Grey Manes turned their backs on the Empire, and we Battleborn stayed loyal. So I'll ask again, Grey Mane or Battleborn? Sooner or later, we all have to choose a side. More bad blood between the houses. Fralia is convinced our family is somehow at fault for the loss of their son. There's no reasoning with these people anymore. Long live the Empire. Stuck here. Stuck! My mother, my poor mother. I'm moving at rest, but too still. Oh, poor Cicero is stuck. Can't you see? I was transporting my dear, sweet mother. Well, not her. Her corpse. <laughs> She's quite dead. I'm taking Mother to a new home, a new crypt, but... Ah! Wagon wheel! Damnedest wagon wheel! It broke, don't you see? Oh! Oh, oh yes! <laughs> yes, the kindly stranger can certainly help. Go to the farm, the Lorius farm, just over there, off the road. Talk to Lorius. He has tools. He can help me. But he won't. He refuses. Ah, convince Loris to fix my wheel. Do that, and poor Cicero will reward you with coin. Gleamy, shiny coin. The farmer is at his farm. Where else would he be? Lord. Oh, for the love of Mara, what now? That Cicero feller? Huh, tell me something I don't know. Crazy fool's already asked me about five times. Seems he's not satisfied with my answer. Why can't he just leave us alone? Pay me? You think this is about money? Have you seen the man? He's completely out of his head. A jester here in Skyrim? Ain't been a merry man in these parts for a hundred years. And he's transporting some giant box. Says it's a coffin, and he's going to bury his mother. Mother, my eye. He could have anything in there. War contraband, weapons, skooma. Ain't no way I'm getting involved in any of that. What? And just who in Mara's name are you, anyway? Hmm? Come here, telling me my business. And for what? To help a, a, a fool? Look, I... I... Yes, you're right, you're right. Feller might be nutters, might not. But fact is, he needs help. I turn him away, what kind of a man am I, huh? Look, um, thanks. And I'm sorry for my unneighborly reaction. If you talk to Cicero, you be sure to tell him I'll be down to help soon. seems so very far. You... you did? He has? Oh, 
home, stranger. You have made Cicero so happy, so jubilant and ecstatic, but more, even more, my mother thanks you. Here, here for your troubles, shiny, clinky gold. A few coins for your kind deed, and thank you, thank you again. <laughs>